Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to save and export a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation in a video file format. So there'll be two things that we'll need to learn how to do. We'll need to obviously learn how to export it as a video file, but we'll also need to use the timings and recording section in PowerPoint. So I've got three slides here for this example. We've got the slide one, slide two, slide three, all numbered. And so if we wanted to export it as it is, we could go to file and then export. And you can see it says create a video here in the second option. If we click on that in here, we can choose the resolution of the video that it will export it as it's set to 1080p as default, but we can go right up to 4k. Now bear in mind that it will be a really big file size if you go to 4k. So see what you need. 1080p probably should be fine, but 4k is there if you'd like to go to it. Now the second option, you can currently see it's set to don't use recorded timings and narrations and it'll say no timings have been recorded because you haven't done those yet. But if we were to click on that option, we could use the recorded timings and narrations, which is what we'll need to do next. Now, if you did want to just export it as this, we could say the time spent on each slide here, we could bump that up to 30 seconds, for example, if we've got a lot of information on the slide, or we could just click create video and we'll leave it as five seconds for this example. So it'll allow you to save it wherever you like. We can save it as the file type here. We've got a Windows Media Video or MPEG-4. You'll probably want to choose the MP4, but we'll go and click Save on that and it will export it. So now if we were to go and view the video, it will look something like this. You can see it's going to spend five seconds on slide one and then it'll automatically transition to slide two. But of course, we're probably going to want to have a more complex recording than that. So what we'll need to do is record a PowerPoint. I'm going to add a few transitions and animations just so that we've got more things to record and more ways to distinguish between the slides first. So if you don't know how to add transitions or animations and you can view my videos on how to do that, they'll be linked in the description. So what I've done is I've added a fade in to all of the slides and I've also added a fly in to the slide names. So if we were to just view our PowerPoint, none of it is automatic at the moment but we have to click the next arrow in order to load up the next animation or transition. So to record the slideshow, you want to go to the slideshow tab here at the top, and then we've got the record slideshow option. So If we click on that drop down box, we've got two options. We can record from the current slide or from the beginning. Now we'll probably choose beginning in most cases. And you can see we've got the recording screen up here. Now we'll want to hit record in the top left when we're ready. We've got a few settings that we can change in here. If we click settings up here in the top right, we can change the microphone and the camera if we've got one set up. And we can also turn the microphone off here if we don't want it to record audio with the slides. And we can use the pen tool here if we wanted to illustrate something on one of the slides. So as soon as we hit record, we'll get a three, two, one countdown and it will begin the automatic transition into the first slide, which in our case was the fade in. And so now that we're recording, we need to use the arrow keys to skip to the next animation or transition. But remember that depending on the information you've got on the slide, we might need to take time if there's something to be read, for example. So however you time your clicks, that will be the recording and that will eventually be in the video as well. And once you get to the last transition, it will automatically stop and we can click the X in the top right once you're happy. Now, if we hit F5, you can see that it will automatically play the presentation. So it's now moving on as we recorded it without me having to press anything. So of course, that's now ready to export as a video. So we'll go back to File, Export, Create a Video. And then you can see it's now set Use Recorded Timings and Narrations. So we'll make sure that option is set. And you can check the second spent on each slide, but you shouldn't have to worry about that as we have set the recording timings in there. So now when we click create video, it will be as we recorded it ourselves. And so now if we click on the file to view it, it will be as we recorded it. You can see we had a long pause without doing anything, but eventually slide one will appear. And so that's how to export a PowerPoint presentation as an MP4 or a video file. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in another video.